Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are using QuickBooks to handle payroll and indicated that you have employees during the Easy Step interview, you can later set up payroll for your company file and then enter employees into the Employees tab within the Employee Center. The Employee Center allows you to handle all transactions that involve your employees and payroll. To view the Employees tab within the Center, click the tab at the left side of the window that says Employees. You can add, edit, and delete or inactivate employees in this list. To add a new employee to the list, click the New Employee button in the upper left corner of the Employee Center. This will open the New Employee window. In this window, you change which set of tabs of information are displayed by using the Change Tabs drop-down to select a set of employee tabs into which you will enter data. First, select the Personal Info set of tabs from the Change Tabs drop-down. The tabs in this set are Personal, Address and Contact, and Additional Info. Click the Personal tab to begin entering data. In this tab, you enter the employee's name into the Mr. Ms., First Name, Middle Initial, and Last Name fields. You can then enter his or her name, as it should appear on the checks, into the Print on Checks as text box. Then enter the Social Security number into the Social Security number field. You can then enter the gender and the date of birth of the employee. Next, click the Address and Contact tab, where you can enter the employee's home address information into the address, city, state, and zip fields available. You can then enter their phone, cellular phone, alternate phone, fax, email, pager, and pin for their pager into the fields that are available. You can then click the Additional Info tab to continue data entry. In the Additional Info tab, you can enter an employee ID number into the Account Number or Employee ID field if needed. You can also enter any information into whatever custom fields you create for your employees in the Custom Fields section of this tab. If you want to add custom fields to your customer, vendor, or employee lists to record information of your choosing, please review the section of Creating Customized Fields in a later lesson within this chapter. Once you've completed entering information in the Personal Info tab set, use the Change Tabs drop-down to select Employment Info. This will then show the Employment tab. Here you can enter the Hire Date into the Hire Date field. When the employee leaves, you can enter the last payroll date into the release date or last date on payroll field. In the Employment Details section, you can classify the type of employee as a regular or W-2 employee, a statutory 1099 employee, or an officer or owner of the company. When you are ready to enter payroll and workers' compensation information, then you can choose those options from the Change Tabs drop-down. We'll discuss entering information in these tabs in a later chapter on payroll. If you will be performing payroll activities in QuickBooks, you should review the entire chapter on payroll before entering your employee payroll data. Also note that if you start to create a new employee, but you don't enter their payroll information, then you will be prompted by QuickBooks to enter that information when you click OK to save the record and close the window. If you want to save the record as is, then just click the Leave As Is button. If you want to return to this window to enter the payroll information, then click the Set Up Now button and enter the payroll data. If you need to edit an employee record in the future to change employee or payroll information, then you can start by selecting the name of the employee to edit from the Employees tab within the Employee Center. Then you can either click the Edit Employee button, you can choose Edit from the menu bar, and then choose the Edit Employee command, 
or you can simply double click on the name of the employee shown in the employees tab of the employee center. You can then change or add whatever employee or payroll information is necessary through the tabs within this window and be sure to click the OK button once you're finished to save the data entry. Also, like all of the other QuickBooks lists, you cannot delete an entry that has been made into a list once it has been used in a transaction. Once a record is associated with a transaction, you can only inactivate the record to hide it from view. You should review Lesson 312 on inactivating and reactivating list items to learn how to perform this task in your QuickBooks lists. However, if you created a record, but did not use it in any transactions, then you can delete the record from the Employee tab. To do this, just select the record to delete from the list, and then choose Edit from the menu bar, and then choose the Delete Employee command. You will then need to click OK in the confirmation message box that appears in order to permanently delete the selected employee record. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.